Z to be fair, Zim's got an actual hard, like, laugh. Mandarx is a little simple and repetitive. Mm -hmm. But, Z like, Zim's got a very, like, developed laugh. Like His him. voice is really good, too. That voice acting is excellent. His voice acting is just amazing. Yeah, it really is. Fuck, I forgot what the fuck I was looking for. Oh, one thing that I know that I love about oh, ESO Michael. is that one of the voice actors is the dude who does the English version of Cowboy Bebop. The <laughs> dude. Nice. Black, whatever his name is. And every single time I hear it, I'm like, yes, hi. <laughs> like, oh, hi. oh, wow. It's okay. Every, I've, I've got people like that. I, that's one of the reasons I really like the new God of War is because it was voiced by one of my favorite uh, actors. But I still got to play through that. It's pretty good. I, I liked I it. I for Christmas and I started. I played like an hour of it and then I just haven't played it since. Yeah. How dare. Yeah. It's good. It's just I don't play consoles very much. Anymore. Yeah. So I want to play it. I'm the same. Like I haven't even turned this thing on in a couple months. I should probably play some games on it to make it worth having. <laughs> that are selling. ESO, ESO, get it, play with me. Uh, I mean, I guess I could. I just gotta find time, which is ugh. That's right. That's what I was doing. Ha ha. I was finding the texts, the ancient, the ancient scrolls. Oh, no, you can't have these. No, 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 you can't have these at all. Source books. There I we go. I've got my kids new toys, but they can't have them because they're made out of yarn that will come apart and they will eat it and die. <laughs> oh no. Awful. Alright, well. I think. Uh, beer back. Okay then. Never mind whatever you have to say. Yeah, what I was gonna say. It's alright, it can wait. Especially because uh, it's gonna be an interesting one. I have plans. Good. So I'm guessing Avita was just in the tent the entire time last time. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You were you were hanging out and uh, then some shit happened and then Clarence showed back up. And Clarence. Is that the dragon? dragon? Yeah, that was the dragon. Oh, look who's finally here. Yeah. Like a bitch. What's up, Michael? Oh, you know, another wonderful day. Very nice. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Sirens go off in my background. <laughs> this is just gunshots. Some this is like that's just the average alarm clock. That's the seven a.m. <laughs> alarm clock. It's a beautiful day in the ghetto. Because so, <laughs> it's all good in the hood, but deep in my heart, I knew the hood had many socioeconomic problems. <laughs> <laughs> Still one of my all-time favorite fucking memes. Uh, although Just I got a up. Oh. heads up. I probably need to be out by ten thirty at the latest. That works for me because I got work in the morning. So yeah, I got work stuff in the morning. Okay. I'm gonna go to sleep after. All right. I went to sleep before. <laughs> that is true. I did go to sleep before. <laughs> Alyssa called me and woke me up from my nap. <laughs> so with that said, I think we have most everyone here. And we should be able to get going on everything. Before we go, I gotta go feed my dog. Because otherwise, we'll, we'll actually be started and into something, and then she'll be like, give me food. No worries. We still basically have another, like, ten minutes till our usual start time. Okay. Which is, which is why we do those check-ins. Ungracefully. You do everything ungracefully. What do you mean, Nesk? You can't roll. You can't move gracefully. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because it was rolling the dice. 
DM helps. I'm hysterical. It is. Thing. Still graceful. Yeah, I love jokes that you have to explain. Those are the best jokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By far. To be fair, still better than puns. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Highest form of comedy. But it's still the lowest form of entertainment. <laughs> So it's that was it was like the highest form of that, but still the lowest form of entertainment. It's like you son of a bitch. You right though. Um. Yeah, but I got a response. It be you too. I may I may have also gotten one on Snap. Oh snap! On a snap. Response? About our shenanigans that we pulled. What? 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 A response on what stuff? I will send you a thing. Really? Wait, what kind of thing? Last thing you sent me was me. What? Cool. <laughs> and how did you it? told her, you told her to blame me? What? What? Did Liz? Did you tell Kelpie to blame me? Oh, I said it isn't just from you, from me. Oh. Oh. oh fuck. Did, did she get the thing? Yeah, she got the thing. <laughs> that reminds me, Gamma did a sneak too. How dare! What did oh, you there's do? Help. There's help. Oh, did she... she get ya? Cause... because I didn't do this. What's up? Cannot fucking believe you all. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. Not a deal with people being nice to her. None of you do. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's true. I did a sneak to Diffy earlier today, and she, she yelled did. at me too. How dare you sneak her? How'd you sneak her? She did sneak me. You do. <laughs> Here's the thing, you played right into it! <laughs> I... What? How, how, how did I you sneak? I thought you wanted to be friends! I bought her the Monster Prom DLC because it was like five bucks. Since oh, we're nice. playing tomorrow. <gasps> You're playing tomorrow? Uh, yeah, on in your Discord. Yay! When? Yeah, I was just like, yeah, let's just do the the original. That's the one I have. This would be great. And then she goes and gives me the freaking DLC. I'm like, no! <laughs> uh, they mentioned it. And I told you, don't, 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 no, don't, no, bad lease. Uh, yeah. What time are you guys gonna play tomorrow? That's a good question. <laughs> Whenever Tony gets to the computer. Yep, basically. Oh, okay. So it'll be at night. <laughs> Good, then I will be there. Yeah. And watch it. And if I decide I want to play games before she's ready, I might start with Dead by Daylight and then switch into that. Cat, gotcha. why do you always fucking do this? At me when you guys <laughs> start. Playing. Leave me alone. Watch it. Until I sit in my fucking computer chair, then it has to come up and. Meh. Yeah. That's not <laughs> You okay, Gamma? Yeah. You want me to at you when I start? Any game, or just when um the one thing starts. When you start any game, just so that like it's in my Discord, so that even if I'm not at the computer, I can still see it when I get to the computer. I got yelled at by Kelp now too. <laughs> <laughs> but first, he was Kelp yelling fight? about art stuff because because mm -hmm. uh, I told her give. She said thank you for drawing the thing, and I was like, well, Gabba should be the. Doing things because he's the one that got you the thing. I just drew it. 
And he, and it, so she yelled at me first for that. <laughs> Your work is amazing. Shut up, kind of deal. And then, and then yelled at. Okay, hold on. I'll just send it to you. <laughs> Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> She's threatening to come find me. <laughs> Doesn't she have your address? <laughs> Should I put my address on the thing? Here's the thing, she probably threw the thing away. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. The amount of times that those two have ever asked me for my address is insane. I'm just sitting here having their address Not literally in my contact. I have a scratch post for that. Next time you do that, I'll grab you by the scruff of your neck and I'll throw you at your scratch post. No! No, be nice. Not gonna be nice to a cat that decides to scratch her claws on the back of the chair. She doesn't know any better. She's been fine up until just now. She wants attention. Well, she wants attention. Her mom is sitting right there on the fucking couch. <laughs> but you've been wanting her attention for a while because you want you wanted her to love you. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know why she has to give it to me while I'm sitting in the damn chair trying to get busy fucking D and D. Yeah. <laughs> That's what cats do. They always give you the attention when you least need it and more want it. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Is cuz not yours. Is cuz oh, they no love you. <laughs> Which is funny cuz she won't let anyone hold her. But last night she jumped up in my lap and sat there for about 10 minutes. And then she realized she was sitting in my lap and then jumped down frantically. <laughs> How dare you let me sit on you? <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. And why the fuck are you purring? Why? I haven't done anything. Yes, as I'm petting her. Got your tail. Got your tail. Oh, that's not your tail. That's your head now. Oh, and Gavin also did a, a sneaky thing because he, he, I told him to take the payment from the commission I got, take that part <laughs> out to put it into Kelp's thing. And then he still gave you the full amount? Yeah, because he's a douche. How dare. Oh, well, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it was your tip. There's yeah, totally like, more tip coming by the way. He's like... Hey, you know how horrible that sounds, Gamma? I, I know what I said. Huh? What did you say? <laughs> there, there's more tip coming. Oh, yeah. wait, no? What? <laughs> That's what she said. Just the tip. Oh my god. <laughs> wait, what? She actually got your leg. I'm sorry, love. <laughs> I didn't think she was gonna go after your leg. <laughs> love you. <laughs> Ignore the kitty. <laughs> as a male, it's hard to ignore pussy. <laughs> yes, yes, Gamma, as a male, it's hard to ignore pussy. This is lesbian erasure. Erasure. Actually, that's what I said. You said lesbian. <laughs> no, I said this is lesbian erasure. And I said this is body erasure. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you. I thought you missed. I thought you told me I pronounced erasure wrong. No. What the f does erasure mean? Like you're erasing it. Like you're ignoring it. Uh oh. What you doing now? Actually, exactly. my dad always told me like, uh, cause all like my siblings, my my friends, like my siblings' friends, like all the we all with my dad. And like, so he's always surrounded by women. Other than the fact that he had, a, you know, children, all their friends all over him too. So, and then my guy friends would come over, and they're like, "How do you have so many women just surrounding you all the time?" He's like, "Cause I ignore." Them. 
Because I ignore them. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I ignore them, and then that's just like, they just keep coming, and they leave me. They won't leave me alone. <laughs> so basically, what you have to do is to get the pussy, you must ignore them. <laughs> Man, I've been ignoring so many women. <laughs> Man. Must not be doing it right, there me either. <laughs> Zeke! <laughs> there must be something else going on here. You're just ignoring them wrong. <laughs> Here's the thing, ignoring and avoiding I feel like are two different things and I do the yeah. secondary, unfortunately. Oh, that's, yeah, that's true. that is very true. To be fair, I'm not avoiding either, I'm just never, th I'm never around. You gotta be around. I'm yeah. not around. Mm -hmm. I'm round. Keeping me right round, baby, right, right round. All the time, all the time. You are definitely a circle, Michael. Yay, I'm a circle. You're, now well, more like a square. But, um. <gasps> How dare you call me a square? I am never a square. I'm either round or oval. What about a. What was I saying? <laughs> You were I'm saying, an octagon I... trying to fit into a triangle. Uh, I was... Well, if you, if you shove hard enough. Whoa. <laughs> oh, damn. So that, do I take it we have everyone uh, in their places? I believe in places. So... Oh, I still gotta get into the game. Uh, so people have said they gotta go early, so we'll probably be going until, let's see, what is it, like three hours from now, two and a half hours from now? I, don't, I can't remember what people said the time was. Uh, three and a half. Three and a half? Okay. Three and a half hours. Alright, yeah. so that's right around our usual time, as long as we don't stretch it, we should be okay. And, yeah. I ripped my head down with my head. I whip my hair back and forth. That's what I was thinking I was gonna hear. Fuck you people and your hair. Michael, I whip my hair just back accept oh, either either accept oh am I am I too hot on there? Wait. Huh? Is it said am I too loud on there? Like I could oh, no, no, you're not too loud. I was just I, was like, oh. I thought it was on me in the Uh okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I was just like, what did, what did I do? I freaked Diffy out. Something's wrong with the stream. No, it was all me. But yes, I whip my hair back and forth. Also, Michael, just accept that you don't have hair or get some hair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need hair. I got a beard. I have so much fucking hair. I have hair that goes <laughs> And look at me. I'm Diffy. I have all this hair. Like, oh my god. I do. Don't don't mind him. He's just jealous. jealous. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? Jealous. Jealous. I can hear jealous. the jealousy in his voice. <laughs> it oozes out. <laughs> and there's the bitterness. <laughs> I have a picture of one time my grandfather. He's like he's got a bomb, a huge ass bomb spot. Like he just basically has a U of hair in the back. So I, I, I popped all of my hair, my purple ass hair, on top of him. It looks gorgeous. Thanks. <laughs> what do you want, kitten? Attention. Milk. Yeah, come here. Go the ask your mom for attention. We're not going outside. The souls of the innocent. Gander. Yes, come milk. <laughs> come here. Come here. You're not gonna guilt me to letting you out there. Are you? Question. Come here. Possible answer. And does our time that we spent prepping for the performances count as a short rest? Seems mm. like. Should. Right? Yeah. I mean, if you're a druid looking to get back spell slots, druids get fucked on that. Monk looking to get key points back. I think uh, that should. Anything that's not, like, strenuous activity or, uh... If I remember correctly, anyway. 
it's supposed to count under that. So for example, you know, as long as you weren't like doing any heavy lifting or something that would require a check, I would say, yeah, probably, which I'm going to say she was stretching for the performance. I was busking. Does the stretching require a check? How good do you stretch? So it says, and you can take this, I guess, is, is more of a, it's more of an interpretation, I guess. But a short rest is a period of downtime at least one hour long, during which a character does nothing more strenuous than eating, drinking, reading, and tending to wounds. I feel like a pulled muscle would be a wound, therefore stretching would be fine. I mean, stretching could lead to a pulled muscle. I mean, if you suck at it. Shut <laughs> up with your old wife. <laughs> what, what kind of shitty stretching do you do? <laughs> Stretching my body's not used to. Like, I'm pretty sure so any I'm stretch. nimble enough. I think you should be good for just some basic stretching and stuff. Uh, busking, however, would be not resting. Yeah. Just letting you know. Dang. Why must I require the monies? Real life or in-game? Both. Yes. Oh. Money's the devil. No, that's hands. <laughs> that's that's idle hands. <laughs> and they're the devil's playthings. <laughs> that too. Money is the root of all evil. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just remember the... The Futurama episode. Yeah, where the devil's that's the whole joke, by the way, if you didn't think if you didn't know is idle thing idle play thing or the devil's hands. <laughs> yeah. That's the whole pun. That show is way too smart for its own good. That smart is that that smart. That show is amazing. Yeah. I don't know how many times I've rewatched it. I have watched it more times than I can count now, and I still find new jokes all the time. Mostly because I'm too <laughs> dumb to get this, a lot of the science jokes. You gotta go back. And they're in different veins. You'll have, like, one in, like, physics or psychology or metaphysics, and then this one will be in programming, and this one will be in biology, or this... There's a lot of ground to cover in that. It's hey, like... We just imagine it. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Do you have an extra go-to 10 line? <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. You just sneak on in. It's like I don't have anything that wouldn't be wasting your time. That's impossible because my time is worthless. <laughs> I actually I think I saw that one last night when I was see it. Oh man. I like I said, I can any episode I can basically quote any number of lines from. Watched it way too many times. Got my little brother to watch it way too many times. Then watched it way too many times again. But yeah. So does uh, does anyone want to recap what we were doing last time? Don't worry, I'll do it. Yeah. So uh, I brought a soul back to an undead you. thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. I was in the tent. There we go. Let's play. All right. Dragon showed up at one point. It's true. And then left. And then, and then left. And then came back. But but we had to chase him first, and we were always one step behind him. To be fair, you were actually several steps behind him. Yeah. I mean, probably, but it felt like... <laughs> it all, yes, no, that was not... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's no probably about it. You were actually a few steps behind him. <laughs> yeah, there was... <laughs> the... He was Donnie all along. He was always oh. Donnie. And Catharsis. Has Donnie showed up yet? No. No. No, I wouldn't bring Donnie in when you weren't here, I promise. Oh, and I picked a fight. <laughs> and won. I didn't nice. get to do any cool monk shit, though. Didn't you read, you didn't you, like, did. block a, an arrow or some shit? Okay, I did one cool monk shit. <laughs> and then someone put everyone to sleep before I could do any more cool monk shit. Someone? Pat, Pat, there, there. And I did nothing. I just looked pretty. 
I know, was, you, you shot an Eldritch Bolt, that's for sure. And you covered me in spiders, that happened too. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Allegedly. That was great. Allegedly. With a very yeah, high absolutely. stealth roll. You want to talk about doing nothing, look at the fucking ranger. Nothing during that fight. <laughs> Besides get slapped around like a bitch. <laughs> that was true. It just came over smack, smack. Yeah, I can't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good one, though. And somehow I'm like, I always shoot over with the estimates, and it's been working because we have such a big group, so I'm just going to keep doing it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, But yeah, that's, you know, last time on... Dragon D Ball Z? Pretty much, you know. I was going to say D&DZ, but it gets old after a while. i got to flare it up. Last time on the Chronicles of Leroy, the transgender barmaid. Um, what? Oh wait, were you? Were, I swear you were there for that one. We were there. You don't remember yeah, Leroy, the first transgender time. barmaid? This is the... Gamma we're talking to. Fair. When did that happen? The first week. Like uh, that was that was probably when I was writing. It might have been been writing, yeah. To be fair, it wasn't like it wasn't like it was a huge interaction. <laughs> they showed up, they talked to Leroy, they told Leroy to do some shit, Leroy did some shit. Then they talked Wasn't to Leroy the, the next week. The dragon? Fucking nah, that was another one. Uh oh. There's a lot of people. It, it is a big, it carnival. Is a big carnival. Yeah, I, I was just thinking that. <laughs> and none of them know Ashley. To be fair, uh you I'm guessing it were a quiet and timid individual. It's <laughs> like <laughs> secluded like a monk of some kind or something it's almost it's like I hung out with a monk exclusively it's almost hey boo can you get out of my face please thanks babe I will say that uh, I've given a couple people that same ability of knowing you know anyone who is here long enough and like I think one person has gotten the, the a good role to like have someone know them so this is a big carnival You're a big I like it because I can't see my character. Wait. You're in the tent. Yeah. I know where I am, but like, okay. if I'm at, if I'm all the way zoomed out, I can't see. Yeah, you. I will. I will say, I maybe next time make it a little bit smaller. I was trying to get them to look, you know, like accurate big top sizes, but it's a little much. I'm glad I actually remembered that. Stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, don't forget you were doing things. Oh, need to hide that. I forgot Diffy can see that. I must hide it. Oh. So, luckily for look. you, I was just paying attention. Yeah, lucky me. Axel, I'm gonna DM you real quick. Oh lord. He's dimming me. Why don't you DM me anymore? Oh, hey, Patty. Now you're just somebody that I used to. No. DM? Mike and a bunch of people. Somebody! It's D&D &D night that I missed. Mm. Hashtag waiting for the message. But yeah, last time, uh, you guys went on an epic quest to find Clarence. You got a little better look at the carnival and kind of some of the games and stuff that are around the carnival. In which they got help from a um, small piece. Yes. Has it been eight hours. I'm gonna go with yes. We're gonna Yay. say yes. You went to get you went to get Donnie in Have the morning. Fun. Uh, it is nearly nighttime, and it is time. Although I don't remember if we revealed that to you that they they originally were like, all right, it's today. Even though we thought it was tomorrow, it was tomorrow. I was there. For okay, that. so you were there for that. Uh, what you might not have been there for is that we are gonna have to do tonight's regular performances so everybody's gotta like go perform Ew. yeah okay yeah so now you got a performance with your undead line that has been newly recreated good luck it's <laughs> like break a leg Woo! not yours hopefully <laughs> that's always what i wonder when it's just like break a leg who's <laughs> okay there's actually an origin behind that 
You want to know it, or is that another ta story for another pack? Uh, I mean, you can do it. I mean, I guess it depends on how long it is. Actual discard. Oh, right. Uh, so, um, in theater, the understudies would tell the main cast to break a leg as a sign of good luck, but they really just wanted them to actually break their leg so they could get a, sh a, a, a shot in the spotlight. That's a very logical explanation for that. But now it is legit theater tradition, and you don't say the words good luck. Girls, that in fact would be better. Oh, there. Touché. Carnival times. We left Carnival off right before. What? And we left off where, you know, we were about to. That's the small. The Carnival Times is our newspaper. Letter that goes out to tell you all the shenanigans happening. Its direct competitor is the Carnival Gazette. Exactly. Yep, that's legit. Also, then there's a third one that's called the Showbiz. Yeah, that, that one's just heard. that one's purely, purely, you know, article or not the article is a uh, speculation. Axel, Axel, check your shit. Look at that! Look what I did to you! Alrighty. That's one. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to do it. Rolls, yes. Oh, man. Good hash. Damn it, do I really need to stock up again? They were pretty good. Uh, all right, so we'll get that in the side. But for now, we have a bunch of uh, peoples, and they have RPing to do. But I will be typing, so I'm gonna be a. Uh, Muting a little because I've realized how goddamn loud that is. <laughs> oh, no click clacks. This, she, he's not you, Alyssa. He's not going to click clack. <laughs> so, how long until the show starts again? That's a good question. How long till the show starts? Yeah. Yeah. So if we take into account everything uh, we did in the morning, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, let's say that the show probably starts in like an hour from now. If his uh, undead companion line is now back, that would have been eight hours from roughly like ten o'clock. That'd make it six p.m. Carnivals should start around six or seven, so we'll say seven. You know, roughly mid. Uh, let's say mid fall. Is the current time period so it's not quite the longest days but it's not short days either it's dark around 7 38 yeah okay so there are probably lots of people around that I'm busking and trying to get to go into my tent that's what I'm doing charging them two silvers two silvers per entry And Nagi's not here to give me that bardic, sweet, sweet bardic inspiration. What are what are everybody's classes again? I'm a bard. Carly's a bard. Okay. Oh, I gotta roll performance. Oh God. Okay. Warlock. Okay. Warlock. I know Jen's in the rolling for performance, Axel. I think it's just I me because I'm yeah. busking. Uh, I'm, I'm not busking. I'm trying to get people to come into our tent. Uh, so that's a twelve plus a billion performance. A uh, seven, so nineteen.
going to get that 19 and doubling the price of entry so I can get that extra silver on the side. Just in case. Wait, so you're charging two and the other silver is just going to you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I know this because she's out there and we're in here. Mm-hmm. No, you, yeah, none of you know this except for uh, um, Gunter because he told me to. Where's Gunther, by the way? I'm getting lots of attention. I don't know where he is. He's not here in the voice chat. Oh, roll a d100. Okay. Mm oh, 96! Never rolled a 90 on there before. Does, does someone recognize me? Thing. Wait. Snap. 90 people. Woo! I'm great! That means 90 silver pieces. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's a fucking a lot. Ninety silver pieces for me. You greedy little. What are you a uh? Half elf. A what? Half elf. Half elf. Greedy, greedy little, little half, half elf. elf. I've got plans. It's okay. I've got plans. I don't know. You don't strike me as the. They're good plans for us. You know. You know. May so, or may I, not. I have a lion that'll just eat you. Fair, yeah. I will talk to your lion someday. Mm, you think that. I will fucking make it happen. I've you got, will have to be in good graces. I've got a plus four to animal handling. Bring it. Yeah, I control my lion, so... <laughs> Okay, so I gotta be your friend then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. The li the lion's soul is bound to me. <laughs> so oh, damn. Oh damn, that's dark, dude. <laughs> did you find the lion, or like, did you make the lion? I feel like both. It's usually how it... You know, I mean, you'll have to start try and strike up conversation with me to figure that out. It's true. Uh, I will also say I really wish that animal companions and stuff had their own personalities, but yeah, they're just straight bots for the for the player. Yeah. <laughs> they're not like their own self sentient beings who can who can make friends and do things. Sadness. I mean they technically are, but you know, no one pays him I mean, I'm going to give him. He has personality. It's just I get to choose the personality. He's also undead, so I feel like really get to choose the person. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, yeah, you will actually notice, and I'm not sure if he is here or not. I think he was moved, which is lucky for me. But you don't see Gunter, which is weird. And I did exactly what he said. I got a bunch of people away from the big tent and into our tent. We're almost at max capacity. Oh, wait, you were trying to draw from the other tent? Yes. Ooh, all right. We'll do it next Ooh. time. But when you do more specific things, it requires, like, more difficult rolls and stuff. Oh. Because that's a Imagine. more... Oh, you're fine. But usually and i will always encourage people to be as specific as possible because you can do a lot cooler things when you're more specific or do like uh or use skills and stuff more interestingly so okay 
for example, yeah, like, like one of the cool things Divi because she's doing the whole in, in depth in you know being a doll thing uh, with the use of uh, the spiders is a really good example of that. Of she yeah okay. she but she had to do it sp with a higher roll difficulty because she's trying to constantly maintain her stealth and pretend to be a doll. Okay. okay. So in order to do that, I made her roll like two or three times, and she had to get good rolls on all of them. Or at okay. least decent-ish rolls. Had to beat perception, had to beat a basic check, then had to beat another, you know, stealth check afterwards to re-stealth. Okay, and if, it, if, it, if it's uh, easier then, I could just say that I was just busking, like, right up over here and trying to- or not busking, getting them people over here, and... Because because Gunter didn't give me that bardic inspiration. Sucks. I'm not gonna do what you say. Yeah. I do what you say. <laughs> but yeah, no. Um. Okay. There's lots going on there. We also have. I gotta keep oh, doing I'll stuff in the side. Again. I'm sorry. Were you talking the entire time? She is just went on mute. She probably has to take her dog outside or something. Uh, she did say in Discord that she has to lock the door because she heard weird noises and she doesn't trust the neighbor. Ah. Tell her to get her gun. Well, she didn't say neighborhood. She said neighbor hook. Jane's Ooh. got a gun. Neighborhood. What the heck is that? What the what? That just attacked my eardrums. That reminds me, Gamma, how many years has your character been at the carnival? Uh, I think... Oh, what did I say last time? I think it was like... Somewhere between 5 and 10. Okay. We're gonna... Alright, we're gonna round up for that and do like 10. Just for the purposes of, uh, there's a roll increase for every decade you were at the carnival for info on the carnival. Also, uh, you... Get yeah, my rolls for that are ridiculous. It's great. <laughs> I do also, take two. You could, you could be recognized. I haven't been <laughs> recognized by what? And uh, there is, the yeah, there's probably a very low chance. Yeah, cause my, uh, my background is, what was it, Hermit? It was, yeah, Hermit. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, basically if you roll, 100. Gotcha. Yeah. So that's if I, that's if I interact with people. Yep. To be fair, it's like whenever you, anybody, or you see each other, it would trigger the... I guess recognize each other, look at each other. Yeah. But yeah, shouldn't matter if you don't meet any new people. But I thought it was an important thing to do since there've been a couple where people were like, do I know this person? I'm like, yeah, that's a good question. You've been here, so you might know this person. It's a big ass carnival though. A big, big ass carnival. Hey, big ass. <laughs> Oh my god, this is exactly what I want to do. Okay, where is it? Alright, I just had my favorite idea of the day. Anyway, continue with what you guys were doing. What are we doing? I don't know, what are you guys doing? I'm bringing people in. Uh, I, I know for a fact before he straight, like, disappeared into the wind that a, uh, our good friend Gunter had set up a, like, mm -hmm. underwater, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like a like a uh, uh, the, the 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 tank for the show thing. Yeah. Oh, a dunk tank. 
uh not a dunk tank it was more of a like a presentation mermaid swimmy tank kind of thing it was, an, it was weird there's a mermaid i don't think so yes that actually reminds me about the about the quote-unquote mermaid um did we sort out uh what's your name oh god what's your name uh 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 <laughs> to the notes did we Florence, did we sort out Florence's outfit before I started trying to get people to come into the carnival? I feel like we definitely talked about it. I don't know if we ever finalized it, but yeah, I know we I know we talked about it. I was gonna make her look hella rad. She's gonna have like sequins and and a lot of tool. Did you say you're gonna make her look hella rad or hella ratchet? <laughs> Jesus, Kayla. With D, and I'm gonna I'm gonna buy her outfit. Fair. I mean, you do got the money now. Yes, I do have money now. Um, Sorry, guys. I didn't know we were supposed to start with money. <laughs> I do now. There is all always a learning curve. For for wedge, it will be a larger one. <laughs> wedge and Tilly's? Red five. Red five. How much would her outfit have cost? Mm. I don't know where are you purchasing it from? I mean, I figure there's places for that, right? Like this. I feel like I feel like carnival people make all their clothes, oh, or shit. or trade for them. Usually it's either you make your own trade with another card and die. Okay, um... Yeah, find someone. <laughs> it's gonna- it's gonna eat into my butt in time. Um... You see if there's any seamstresses around. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Can I see if there's any seamstresses around? To make an outfit. Well, I feel like that would be a general history check of your knowledge of the carnival, of which you have quite a big bonus. So as and a, a good reminder for people, and I, I know Nagi put one for his game as well, but it's usually for me the same that if you wanted to take some base runs, uh, 10 for non-combat, 5 for combat is usually the standard for D&D &D, if you just wanted to not roll and use your skill. Because some people prefer that. I always roll because I think getting a 1 is hilarious. Same. And that's kind of like a passive role. Yes, plus a uh, modifier for history, and then plus a modifier for uh, how many decades you've been at the carnival. Okay, 19 plus 4 plus 2, so 21, 25. Six. Very nice. So you do know that there is a seamstress uh, somewhat to the, you know, at, in, like... She's basically the seamstress for the whole place. Everybody goes to this person in both mm -hmm. sides of the carnival. Uh, near the fishing tent. Near the fishing. So I drag her over to the fishing. Alright, so near the fishing tent, which is actually where Florence's character model is, which is good. Good! Um, you see, you know, a tailor of some sort. I mean, we can, we can always grab one if we need one. We'll say this is now a tailor. Well, a seamstress, but you know, for all intents and purposes. Bam. Where's Florence, where'd she go? Florence is here. I don't know why. Where? Here. Get out of the fishing tent. We're going to the ta tailor. Florence. She likes the fishies. Jewel's gone. Nobody told me life's gonna be this way. <laughs> that says witch. You can do both. Is that supposed to say witch? Okay. Hey, you know what? Fair. Anyway, as you come up to her and her needle soothes things by themselves. <gasps> oh, 
some. Yeah. Sue's thing? So's, Sue's, both. It's a lawyer. I sue ya. I take all your money. It is a lawyer and a seamstress. It is an amazing needle. And a witch. And a witch. Well, no, the, 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 the needle is doing the work. She just does the magic. So she is like the coolest character so far. So I <laughs> need, to, need to roll if she recognizes me. <laughs> this is the one. Coolest character one. so far. You haven't even talked to Sarah Show. Shame on you. <laughs> Sarah Show hasn't talked to her either. Sarah, Sarah Show is my pet serpent. Oh, but, that's fair. It is the closest I have come with an 81. What was yours? I thought, oh, yours wasn't 75. It was 90, wasn't it? It was 90, because I've Wait, only how been many... here for like 20, 25 years. Yeah. That's actually even high when I give you a pretty high one for that many years. Anyway. Huh. anyway. Yeah, I do them by the <laughs> decade. It's a long-lasting carnival. I mean, there should be some secrets. You do not know. You could also see if you know the needle. Is the needle a character? It's sentient. Oh my god, it okay. Is now. Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna roll. Uh, 38. I know it less. I, I, know it. I knew it even less now. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, I were, uh, we roll up in this tent. And I say, hi! Uh, you notice that the witch has her mouth sewn shut. Oh! But the needle responds happily, like, how are you doing? I'm like, doing great. In the voice of and the I'm... witch, by the way. Somehow you oh. know. You don't know her voice, know. but you just somehow know. Alright. Alright. I need an outfit, like, really fast. Oh, well, what kind of outfit do you need? I need... I'm thinking something really, really mermaidy, you know? A lot of sequins, a lot of tulle, something that'll look really good underwater. Mmm, I see. Mm -hmm. And, uh... That's whole, whole, whole shtick. Uh, and basically you, uh, you see the witch's arm, like, twitch up in a very, like, awkward kind of straight manner to the right and uh basically light shoots out of her hand and starts to form just kind of like an image of a dress and suddenly the uh, a dress with sequins in red and uh yellow with some nice embroidery and stuff and you know i'm not the best at dresses but you get the picture very nice. I love the embroidery. Why, thank you. This one was stolen off of a corpse. Or so I've heard. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, awesome. Um. So is it like, is it like out of character here? Is it like an actual dress or is it like a, a image of a dress? Currently just an image of a dress. Okay. So back in character now. How much how, how much time do you think it would take to make it? Hmm. Well, this and as as you say that it kind of starts materializing. It's like uh I just have to fully bring it out. Hmm. You don't br okay. bring them out unless you plan to use them. She says, "What size do you need?" I need to take uh, your measurements. And then I Push Florence forward so that they can get measured. All right, we're gonna assume Florence is okay with this for now, because they're not here to object. Axel, I, so. <laughs> I was just waiting for the people in the comments. Just not consent. Not no does not equal consent. I know, I know. This is D and D. <laughs> God damn it. We can absolutely go back and redo it. Like, is, undo it. I mean. Yeah, of course. I don't. I don't think you will have a big problem. Um, but anyway, as you push, uh, you know, Florence forward, uh, the needle basically oh, wraps around her in, you know, several different spots we won't mention. And some that we will, like the legs and the arms and the torso. But, uh, yeah, and, you know, unwraps very quickly. And uh, as the 
as that happens, the needle kind of uh, moves in and starts flying in and out of the dress at a pretty interesting speed while it's still hanging in the air. Mm. And you see some thread glint as the uh, witch's arm drops and points back towards the door. And the other hand raises up in a very like crooked manner and probably in the puts up uh, three fingers goes 30 minutes give or take okay. excellent and then um, at which point the, the witch's body goes limp okay uh, out of character again I would know how much clothes normally cost right uh, you know, in general, around here, you would. Okay. You would. You. So, we, you would think you've used this tailor before, even if they don't know you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. it it is something to. Uh, the best way I can describe it is with, and Diffie will back me up on this. Is the Spanish, uh, like. Uh, God, what's it? It's Inquisition. No, it, so like there's two different Spanish words for to know. There's like mm -hmm. to know and understand, and there's to know and to be familiar with. Oh, and I'm back. What did I miss? We're getting you, we're getting, we're getting you close. So like Divi knows what I mean. It's it's sabes and yep. yeah. No, we're not. I'm a liar. But that's I'm that. It's liar. basically in that way. So like you would know these people, but you don't know these people on a personal level. <laughs> They're your hentai. Yay! Yeah, but they're not, though. Yeah! <laughs> uh, okay. But so, yeah, all for the people. means like your people, so yep. like... Like family and friends and close peoples. Oh, roll up. Um, advantage because... Oh, no, that roll performance was for, for a specific person. Although they have some stuff yeah. to tell you about, I'll let them tell you while I do other stuff. Yeah. So, uh, I... Uh, we are dragging you to the tailor, who is this marvelous character <laughs> in this green square tent here, um, right by the fishing pond. And we're making use of clothes. Very lovely. It'll take yeah. about 30 minutes. And I'm paying for them. And you just got measured. She's This character is a delightful character. She has her lips shown sh sewn shut. Oh. So she doesn't actually talk, the needle does. Uh. So. We're just not going to comment on it, though. Uh. And when the needle talks, the uh, the hole where the thread would go through, that's where the talking happens. No, <laughs> the eye of the needle? That's the thing. That's wild, my dude. Okay. Um... So I offer, I offer four, four gold for this costume. Uh, apparently I was together. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Uh, I was joking. I made a joke. Funny bad. A uh, funny joke. Bad. Adults have to stick together. <laughs> okay, so you left one behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry, okay. Sorry. Okay, as many as we can at the moment. Uh, you know. Currently, one's missing, and we have to go get, uh, get that one. By sweat standards? I've ever seen... I don't know. I can only hear like a third of your of your words. I know. I don't know if that's just me. Oh no, it's, no, it's, it's just it's not just you. It happens. No. That's good at least. No, it's I also, just because you were so nice. I am buying your outfit. Oh, thank you. Is a nice red thingy with, you know, embroidery. Twins and tool and yeah. <laughs> It's got all it's the tools. It was it was initially gonna be like purple, but then I kinda love this whole like red look clashing with your with your whole vibe. I love it. <laughs> so 
I, I offer four gold for the costume. Uh, the needle uh, looks at the gold for a second as it stops swishing around. Um, you see the uh, needle like fly towards your hand, shoot through all four of the gold pieces onto like a string and tie it quickly around the witch's wrist before going back to its work. Thank you. Okay. All right. So then we, you have your costume, and I'm going to go back to busking. As well as a quick question, if I may ask, did we add in the fact that I'm going to be in water? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gunter has your tank preset and made, luckily. Yeah. I Speaking know, but the of costume. Oh, well, uh, yeah. I don't know. You should probably mention it to him. I don't think they did. Oh yeah. yeah no, no. She did. She underwater. she did say that it was an underwater like uh, mermaid thing. So yeah, it should be fine. The oh, the needle is a pretty smart character. Excellent, excellent. So then I go back to my classroom. Yeah, they did mention it was going to be an underwater show. Yes. Mermaid this. Indeed. There was a knock on the door. I'm gonna leave the mic on just in case, cause I don't know. Grab your gun if you have one. And I'm being in all seriousness. Did I even just? I know this isn't the best. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's picking up. It is somewhat. It oh is no, not some... the map. Ah. Yeah. Earthquake. Oh god, I just felt the ground move. All of reality shifted to the left, like two feet. <laughs> yes, that sounds legit. But it's okay, it's back now. Yeah, it's all good. Mm -hmm. No worries. And then it moved again! <laughs> ah! But no, uh, that happens when my dumbass grabs the wrong thing on the map layer. Speaking of... Got to figure out where the I put this, and there it is. We're just gonna go ahead and. You think Liz died? Feel like we would have heard something, maybe. Maybe, maybe least... not though. At least a dog. Hmm, dog would have barked. That's a good, a good point. So I, I mean, you know. I've been on the other end of some of those calls. <laughs> mm. I've been on both ends of some of those calls. Usually a lack of noise is better than not a lack of noise. That is true. Mm. Mm Okay, so you got your outfit sorted, you got your little cool underwater thing sorted. Gunter made it, Gunter made it. Okay. Are you alive? Me? Yeah, I think I was just hearing things, but I swear I heard something, but there was no one around, so... Well, keep your doors locked you and be things. safer instead of sorrier. That's my personal belief. Yeah, the door's locked. So good, good. I think he got ding dong ditched. Here's the thing. I have a giant yard. Some people fast as hell, yo. They're fucking fast. Shit, I could do the yeah. forty and four, and I'm not even in good Damn. shape anymore. Granted, I think my Me knees too. would give out right at the end. I'm safe-ish, so let's go. Yay! I mean, yay to the, you know, you being safe. Yeah. Anyway. Also, yay to going. There's a pool in there now. And it looks radical. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. I was going to turn it purple, but it's a lot of work. But yes, uh, you know, 30, 30 minutes or so until the needle is done with that, at which point uh, you can come and pick it back up. And it should be roughly right around those times for uh, entry. 
We've got our good old fashioned undead lion tamer. Seems probably ready to go. And the, the place is just filling up with the uh, 90-ish people. Yes. Like Which we if can. If not more, if not more, is someone uh, we're about to do? Well, we we uh, we went for the ninety mostly because that is what I'm going to assume is the general limit for this tent. I'm not going to count every space or do the math for the radius and stuff, but I'm going to go if there's probably no more than ninety spaces in there with that would leave enough room for space to perform, if even that much. Then again, I've been wrong a lot. Mm. But the um, the ninety came from me initially getting people in. That's what that's what the performance check was for to see how how good I did to bring people in. Ye. And ninety was a nineteen. It was a good one. You got most of the basically. I I just kind of rounded and did generalizing, but out of a hundred people, you got a nineteen. So you got. Uh, what is that? Ninety-five or eight? It'd be ninety-five. 90. If yeah. You're doing increments of five. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Was I was just basically incrementing it up to a hundred. So then, whatever you rolled on a hundred, you get that much percentage-wise. Excellent. Mm -hmm. it so was, you got a full crowd here tonight. It is indeed. It should be packed to the brim. In fact, you guys would probably be hanging out in behind the tent. You know where the stage would be. Somewhere here and here, and then the people would be lined up. Actually, the let me move the uh, because it would actually probably be more like this in the back. Because if the entry to the tent is right here, you want to be coming in away from the crowd behind the closed curtains, etc., for secrecy. Mm -hmm. Also, we're trying to pull away from the big carnival because we're petty and money garbers. Yeah. Like all carnies. Just kidding, carnies. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> but yes, uh, I mean, aside from that, you guys uh, have basically everything is kind of ready to go. Excellent. I am prepared. I am excited. My role is basically done. Do you not... I don't she is the entry to the, to the show. Gotcha. Yeah. The other thing I'm is, you, yeah, the other thing is, and why her spot actually is a valid position is during carnivals like this, you're going to get a lot of people in and out. You're not going to have people staying the whole time, mostly, mm -hmm. which you'll get some people who do and some people don't, just depends. Especially at a family carnival like this with kids and stuff, you'll have people coming in and out a lot. But yeah. It's uh, it's gonna be a good night. Clarence is uh, we're gonna just say Clarence is locked up safely somewhere in the back. Cause, yeah. Yes, he doesn't get off his leash as we're approaching showtime. Yeah. Cause He's, he tries yeah. though. I want to make it very well known that he tries. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Clarence. Even though if anyone has my Florence is just adding him on. <laughs> Clarence nope. is like, this is not in my contract. Everything is not in your contract. Yeah, it's true. Gotta get a lot better. of things aren't in your contract. I'm quite frankly, I'm wondering where or who did you uh, discuss the contract with? It was really a bad contract. Let's just leave it at that. I had a bad negotiating partner. It was not a good time. I mean, dude, I know fiends do have a tendency to be underhanded, but this is a bit much. Look. Have you, have you ever played online poker? No. Uh, you wait, get on the trampeze and you start playing poker and your adrenaline rises. I mean, I know I can fly and there's no danger of me falling, but man! Yeah. And plus, that is still does sound fun. It is fun. It's hard as shit, though. I usually fall off and lose. Mm. I don't uh, how about this? I give it a go. And if it's funny as heck, you get a good laugh out of it. Oh, yeah, here, just take me off the leash. We'll go do no. it now. Damn it. No! 
Damn it. I mean, it's nothing else. I can always bring a, tram a small trampoline in here. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> What kind of performer could I be if I didn't bring the fun tea? He just pouts. A trampoline or a trapeze? Trapeze. It's Tra a trampoline. Trampolese. Trampoline. I heard tramp uh, trampoline. I thought it was a blade. My bad, trapeze. Okay, still do it. To be, to be fair, I fucked up either way because it's supposed to be tightrope. <laughs> it's online <laughs> poker. <laughs> Then you take the trapeze and you land on the tightrope. There you go. Yeah, it's all three together. Trap yeah. trampoline into trapeze into tightrope. It's a very interesting form of poker. Oh gosh, so we're actually doing it. I mean, that's up to you. Clarence can't do. Sh he's on a leash. I know, but probably this sounds like humor, and we can do it. Why not? I mean, it's up to you guys to run the show. Actually, whose job is it to run the show? I kind of assumed it was Gunter because he like took the lead on it. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm the ringleader. Yeah, where is uh, where is Gunter? Da da. Dark music should plays. Our... Should we fucking look for our our other bard? Is he like Hunter? is he like actually not here for a reason, or is he just not here? I mean, he's actually just not here, but I'm making it for a reason. You're to be making it for a reason. Yeah. So to, you're to, be, with the to be fair, and this is absolutely, I think, 100% true, because I couldn't find him even when I was looking around. Uh, he actually was off doing something else. Uh, he had, like, started, did that prep, and then he went to do something else away from you guys. Oh. Yeah, I remember something about that. He's like, I set up, and then I go over here, and I don't remember where over here was. I finally found him, and I now remember where I put him and where why he was over there and what he was doing, kind of. Kind of. Oh, I found him! Yeah. He's actually not there. That's, like, the line of where people aren't supposed to be. Yeah. I'm gonna make him disappear. But I found him. You did. But that's that's out of, out of game. <laughs> yes. But, but yes. Actually yeah, she... Shit. She's like, who? What? More buskin. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, uh, you do notice that Gunter is surprisingly gone, missing. Just oh, don't don't even know where. No words. No, didn't tell anyone where he was going. And that was a couple hours ago. Mm hmm. So do we like need him to start a show? We necessarily need him. Hmm. We just need someone who's good with people. Hmm. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Okay. So. <sighs> I'm a good. With, I'm a good with people, but I'm out here. So, would they like? I would know this because I would I have been in the carnival Best. for a while. Yeah. But like they would would they like introduce the people or So typically <clears throat> from how I understand carny stuff, etc. etc. it always depends on the act, but you will start with uh, some kind of general show in the center stage when people arrive until your one of your main acts starts. Uh, this could be something as simple as like juggling to like face paint to like there's there's a bunch of random acts But it's something to keep the crowd in while your first show gets set and is ready to go then once that person is done the ringleader will Come up uh, Thank that person sometimes by name sometimes not and Introduce the first act give the layout of what the night looks like so people can decide whether or not they want to stay mm -hmm. and in general from there he'll maybe you know patter or uh, kind of play to the crowd for like five-ish minutes while everything's getting set behind him basically he's taking the opportunity in the stage light for them to set everything up in the dark while he's doing that yeah very much very okay. very much 
but yeah, he definitely would probably give some kind of intro for the axe name, title, description. And our axe are the water show, the tiger, the, I almost called it a tiger, oh my god. How dare you? You will never talk to it this way. No, there are no tigers. We are not fucking Tiger King. Fuck Carol Baskin. <laughs> Car Carol Baskin? Fucking Baskin. My mistake, my Secret mistake. reveal, Carol Baskin is the third owner of the carnival. God damn it. No. no. Absolutely not. If, if that's the case, I'm walking away right from <laughs> Alright, we heard them. You heard the man. Do it. Alright, um, the, so then the water show, the lion, and then gem. Maybe not in that order. I was gonna say, uh, you usually save your best for last. Yeah. No offense, Jim. Who's the best? I would probably say Florence is last because it's new and exciting. We know people are gonna like Florence. What's that? People are people are already getting used to the undead lion act. That's fair. <laughs> to be fair, this is a new undead lion. I mean, kind of the same one, but it's newish. It's got that new undead lion smell. Oh gosh, that's that would good. be pretty fucking rank. Oh, and we also have our um our sharpshooter. That is true. True. Who is currently nowhere to be found? Plus this this to, again. This uh. <laughs> Sorry. This performance of the lion is like bog standard. The one that we do every night. The one uh -huh. for tomorrow is going to be different. Okay. Okay. Yes. So. Because, because our other bard is gone, I'll be the ringleader today. That's a good idea. So, now I'm inside the tent. And I say... I say... Shit. I say... I say, welcome! What's our name? Syncopation? Welcome to Syncopation! And there's obviously thunderous applause, obviously. And the who wants to be a millionaire music starts playing. I play it myself. I play it myself on my lute because there's no other bar. performance. This is true. That's why I love this. This is a giant performance check between all of the shit you've got to do here. Oh God. I'm gonna do an, in my use my inspiration from the other night because that was a two. Yeah, I'd re-roll that. None of even with it, and that's what I was gonna say. These are your regular performances, except for Florence's. I'm assuming. So and, and and except for everything you do because you're running a position you're not used to. But anybody who's doing their traditional job should get an advantage because they do it every day, every night for their whole life. All right, performance. Okay. But any, but that's if you do it every night. So like for the person subbing in as the ringleader, you would not get that bonus because it's your first night being the ringleader. Yes, so that is why that is an 18. Alrighty, so an 18 is pretty good. You got you see some of the crowd is interested, some is not. They're they're looking at you. They're no one's really leaving yet for the most part. Oh God, people leave. People leaving. That's ex that's. Ex Excruciating. Okay. For our first performance of the night, we have the wonderful, amazing, spectacularly spooky Evita. And then I like I wave my hand and there's like wait, do I have a spell? Hold on. Uh <laughs> Hold on, uh, I cast, I cast, uh, uh, Color's Minor correct. Illusion. I cast Minor Illusion, and there's just the sound of, like, this really spooky kind of ambiance kind of noise that you get from my Minor Illusion. Ooh, very nice. That is a Ooh, good spooky. thing. Yes, that'll give you some nice bonus, uh, bonus, maybe a little bit of an advantage. Which I already have because I'm doing it 
for the seven thousandth night in the <laughs> Yeah, it was like for it was like I need a new life. Kill me and bring me back, Lion. <laughs> the lion is the tamer in this show. <laughs> Um, Just random boom from the audience. Can I? Who? 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 Who did that? Do I know? If I can cast vicious mom. <laughs> and he roasted him. <them. laughs> I mean, you roll your perception and see. <laughs> he didn't, he didn't, he did not roll any stealth for it or to throw his voice. Oh, that was, no, that was literally me, not, not Evita. Oh, I meant the one where he typed it into the... Oh. Yeah, where he types it in and says, from the audience oh. you hear a random boo. Oh, well, it was Wedge, wasn't it? Okay, well, that's a three plus, uh, <laughs> seven. I get a solid seven. Um... All right, you didn't get too low, so you're just like not sure. It's a very big crowd. You're like, who the f said that, you motherfuckers? Fuckers. <laughs> what did what did the uh of it of roll? I missed that part. What was I rolling for? Your uh, have I been rolling anything yet? <laughs> no, uh, you have not started performing yet, so I would Ow. assume not. Okay, my mistake. My mistake. So you haven't even started performing yet, and you hear a boo. <laughs> that mean? That's so mean. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? Do I assume that's in? <laughs> do I assume that's in character? <laughs> just, just fucking dick. <laughs> just dick. <laughs> I don't know if I should have you roll performance or what I should do for that. Almost. Oh god. <laughs> By the way, Wedge is sitting in with the audience. Watch. Why? Why? Why are you like? He's not part of the show right now. Yeah. Alright, so when my act is actually supposed to come up. <laughs> so, so I'm coming out at this time, I'm, I'm, I assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the spooky okay. music and the, and the waving of my hands. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm sure that... One like, second before you do something is happening, I believe. Okay. Okay. No God. What's happening? The minor illusion spooky music too real now. What was your mind illusion? Oh, it's the uh, spooky music. Yeah, the spooky mu music on like, the ambiance. Because that way the crowd can see my hands being all like wavy while we're in Flashing the music. and stuff, yeah. Yeah. Hey, jazz hands. <laughs> From nowhere, fucking jazz hands. To yeah. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. <laughs> Get those spirit fingers going. Hell yeah. Oh, this is why I love D and I'm. Oh God. What I'm happened? waiting just a little longer, but then I'll then I'll know. Um. So before you pop off stage, you see a uh, flickering light shining from right here. <sighs> Fuck me, running. And that's. I would know. Would I know? That's who. Who booed. Uh, I mean, that's up to you, but that's what you saw. It's just a f light flicking from right here. Just like that's waning weird. and going up and down. That's fucking weird. Yeah, the crowd sees it too, which is weird. The crowd sees it? Wait, no, I don't believe so. Let me see. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Can I investigate what it is? Yes, the crowd sees it. Cause it's, the crowd sees it. Okay, so I'm gonna investigate what it is. All right, so you go over there, I assume. Yes, yes, yes. yes okay. 
All right. What do you want to? That was in character. You run. That's a make when you always run. Well, you're obviously not something someone would run from if they heard that coming towards them. That'd be more of a. The fuck is that? Yeah. So I imagine. I imagine I see Wedge there. I mean, I imagine he's not hiding. Yeah, he has not said so. No, I mean, why would I be hiding? I'm just sitting in the audience. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, so, yeah. And I know that's where the, the flickery light came from? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was pretty easy to pinpoint. Okay. Get out of the audience, you're wasting the space, come on. The seat was empty. Ooh. We are at uh, max capacity, excuse me. Uh, no, we were near max capacity, thank you very much. <laughs> Since Whatever. this spot was clearly open. Don't you What's the, with the flickery light? I would never lie to anyone in my life. What's with the flickery light you're doing? And I, this is all whispering so that the, the performance can happen during this conversation. Okay. What? What flickery light? What's the doll doing right now? Out of character, Ashley says. <laughs> <laughs> Out of character, to my knowledge, she's still kind of strapped, quote unquote, to my shoulder with Sarah's show. <laughs> It'd be funny if it's eating popcorn and. That <laughs> <laughs> would be hysterical. Just like, yeah, let's do it. Is the flickery light still happening? Cat, that is my fucking lotion for my tattoos. Go away. Go. Go. Is the is the flickery light still happening? Uh, no, I believe it's it's probably over now. I notice a spell happen? Uh, it could have been. You can, you can, I don't know how you would check, I guess, arcane roll for that? See if you can determine it was a spell? Yeah. I will see if it's a spell. Uh, six. <laughs> I don't know. I imagine with a six, I don't know. Yeah, no. And I'm guessing no bonuses? Bonuses to... Oh, with bonuses. That was with bonuses. Oh. So I say, I say, I say, whatever, you can just sit here, but just don't, don't be weird and make any more, don't distract the crowd. And then I walk away. And okay. she's walking away, I could just kind of whisper, Boo. <laughs> <Fucking> dick. <laughs> <laughs> Now perform! <laughs> oh, am I out now? You were, you technically were out during the conversation. Okay. That's why I was listening. Yeah. So yeah, so, so you're... As, gotcha. Yep. So as I'm introduced, I'm gonna start by using Thaumaturgy to... Uh, instantly cause, cause an unlocked door or window to fly open. I'm gonna say that there's like those sheets in front of us. So Ooh. it's like it explodes forward as I come out. Um, and I'll have my staff in hand. Um, and I'll be. And where's the stage? Is it right in the center of this tent? Is it like there's. Uh, is it like there's seating like around the center and then this is the stage in here? Yes. Is, yes. Okay. Um, it has that like little runway to the back area over here where your prep stuff would be. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. So we're coming out from where my character is right now. Um. Okay. So I come out. 
and I kind of make my way towards the center without Trego. And, oh gosh, words. This is the hard part. Um, welcome, everyone, to the greatest show you will ever see. Now the world is filled with dark things. Scary things. Looking death in the face is quite fearful. So watch. And as I do that, I do another thaumaturgy. And I take all of the lights around us, because it's a 30-foot thing, all of the lights around us. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you should and be I able to hit that thing. All to like an eerie green color. Ooh. It's <laughs> as a fearsome. Uh, a fearsome beast from beyond the grave shows its power, and I'll have Drago come out at that point. And I'll do one more thaumaturgy as he like lands on one of those like li lion pedestals that you see at a circus. And then one more thaumaturgy as he roars. Uh, I will cause harmless tremors in the ground so that people can fear that can feel his roar. Um, and from the sidelines, I'm going to make a minor. I'm going to make another minor illusion. Which is a cantrip. Alrighty. And, and I'm going to, from like the middle back of the crowd, I'm going to make like a ooh sound come out, like a very, in, like very kind of almost spooked out, but like interested noise happen. Okay. So as he comes out and he does that, I'll kind of back up a little ways and I'll get my my staff in like a more ferocious position and kind of like ready to attack or just be prepared for any dangerous thing that he might do but of course he's he's my buddy so there's gonna be nothing that he's going to actually do to me <laughs> but for performance sake and then we're just gonna I'm just gonna start like leading through tricks and small little tussles here and there, kind of he goes to the crowd at one point and I have to wrestle him back type of thing. Um just do all the all the crazy stuff that a lion tamer would do. Alrighty, and uh I will say that uh, just for the person being ringleader, you would also know that this is about a time where the ringleader would be walking the inside edge of the pit, encouraging people like to give money either to the hat or to the stage. Um, You're kind of like one of those uh, one of those signs at a at a sitcom taping, telling people to laugh and telling people to applaud. Yeah. He very much is like the, the the ringleader's real job, even beyond like this or that or introducing or emceeing, is to control the flow of the inside of the ring. So he he is responsible for keeping people interested to know, like on a to a higher level, right? If you had a you know, if we were being more realistic, he would be in charge of knowing. All right, this act is becoming stale at this point, and we need to push them off and pull on a new act to keep people interested because we're losing people. Uh, stuff like that, yeah. The ringleader does a lot of kind of controlling of that. I do that then. Alrighty. At which point we'll say that is also a performance check. As you are trying, yeah, because you're trying to kind of perform. Yeah, I, I count that as once again part of the performance. So. All right, here we go. Sixteen plus seven. Uh. Uh, 23. 23. 23. All right. And it'll actually, you'll get some bonuses as well. Let's just say plus five for now, both of you, because you're doing all of these spells to keep the crowd entranced. Ooh. Yeah. So you should get bonuses. So I roll a performance as well here. Yeah, I would say. 
because okay. it will help out in both cases. Uh, let's see. So dice plus five plus performance. Yes. Yes. Okay. So that would be a twenty-two for me. Nice. And so yeah, with with good numbers like those, you know, you got the tra- the crowd going well. They're willing to give money. Um. You know, just all the general things that go with. Uh, being the carny, you're keeping a good amount of attention. There's even, there's even, it might be a, you know, a bedazzled and, you know, stupefied fan who has seen this show before. <laughs> like, like that, like that one fan that's always in uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender <laughs> that like starts frothing at the mouth. Oh like, God, yes, yeah, like oh. Falls down. <laughs> <laughs> the best. Or the cabbage guy just shows up everywhere. <laughs> Cabbages! And that is what <laughs> and that is what Donnie and Cathar are selling. <laughs> They're the yep. cabbage man. Yes. Excellent. Pretty much. We have other ones, but those ones are the important ones. Uh but yeah, so the the performance is going smoothly, you know. Everything seems to be going well. We'll say you get out of these hundred people. Actually roll a D one hundred, let's say. Me? Me? I will say Gamma since you're doing the actual performance. D100. Oh, that's not that great. 32. I mean, it could be worse. So 32 people decide that they want to give, you know, a uh, a silver piece for that. Oh. They, they decided. Third of the people. Yeah. It's not bad. So I said it could be worse. And that's, you know, we'll say that this is takes... Maybe the, we'll say that's for the first part of your performance. However many parts of your performance you have is up to you, but, you know, as long as you keep performing, well, you know, they might keep you on all night. That goddamn mermaid now. I'm just kidding, Florence. I'm just, I'm just okay. kidding, Florence. Okay, fine. Whenever, go. whenever my thing gets close to the end, um, and we're ready to bring out Jen's next, right? Yes. And she's she starts high up in the air kind of thing, or is she coming from the ground? From the sky. Uh, <laughs> Liz starts in the sky. Okay. So then what I would do is I would start a control flames when I'm, like, going off right. to have the area of bright light so that Jen can get more into position quickly up top without people noticing. Oh, and then once she becomes announced and stuff, I will, I will undo that. Excellent. We're all working together. It's finally like a team. All right. So, is there more parts of his performance, or no? It would just it would just be like the dangerous dance, if you will. Okay. Excellent. So then. When you start to leave and the the lights go all weird, I start to say again, no, out of character that part was. Okay, in character, I say, I say, I encourage the, I first encourage the crowd to clap, and there's lots of clapping and and wooing because of our amazing performance checks. And I say, thank you to the to the dazzling, dazzling Ivica for that amazing performance. And then more, there's more clapping. I pause for effect. And I say next in our performance is going to be the shining gem of our, of our entire carnival. Gem, and I look. I gesture up to the sky, so everyone looks up to the sky. Alrighty. Uh, so I feel like that's a, uh, a performance check to get them all to look up, or keep on, keep on, yeah. Can it be with advantage? For, with the I think it is. Flames? I think it should be. I think it should also be with the plus five because once again they're coming off of a really good performance. They're in the mood to be lulled, and you know, uh, entertained. We'll also okay. say that uh, 20 people have left and 
59 people have come in, so the tent is packed. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo! That was fucking good, you guys! Uh, okay, so, uh, that's a 1 and an 18. Plus, uh, performance 7 plus 5. So, 30. fucking a lot. It's a lot, Sorry. yeah, that should be pretty good. So, you are able to convince them to look up. Uh, and follow your bright flames in the darkness of the tent upwards. And now what? So as this all happens, Jed oh, there's my little sparkles around her. Sorry. <laughs> Jed swoops down on the um. Oh, what's it called? <laughs> the trapeze. The bar where she swings on the tra Is that actually called the trapeze bar? My yeah, it's not oh, working well right now. I think that is a trapeze bar, but I'm gonna <laughs> double check. Way, trapeze I feel bar. I like don't know what I'm talking about. I do. <laughs> she does the flips and jumps and all that stuff. And then at one point, she misses and slow falls down about 30 feet, but then she uses. Oh, where, what's the thing? What's the thing? The blessing of the Raven Queen. Okay. Where I get to teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space. <laughs> and I just Dang. teleport to where... To, to, she... to, to the other bar. <laughs> and hopefully that... That draws a bunch of oohs and ahs. Yeah, when she starts to fall, a minor illusion of... <gasps> Like a very concerned gasp from the crowd, and then when she teleports, there's like a very shocked gasp from the crowd. A different spot in the crowd. <laughs> a different spot in the crowd. Well, obviously, because I okay. was the one. Typing. There we go. The damage resistance <laughs> is the one. So this is just for future reference, and why I'm glad I went back and looked at it, because thank goodness it covers it. But something people often forget about teleportation is that teleportation does not stop momentum. However, 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 the skill of the Raven Queen prevents damage when you teleport, so you are all good. Yes, but for other people using similar skills, I just want to remind them that teleportation does not stop momentum. Yes. Oh, I need the momentum because I'm still flipping around. That's that's fine. I'm just saying. I've seen other people using the games where they're like, all right, I, I got pushed off or jumped off. I'm gonna I'm gonna teleport over here. All right. You teleported back to the top, but you hit the floor with the same speed. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great big fucking oof for me, mate. Yeah. What are you doing, kitty? You are so fucking weird. Go lay on the fucking couch. I argue that this could be an acrobatics check. I think so. Heck yeah, instead of a performance? Well, yeah, because you're flipping around, so I'll count it. Sweet, thank you. So they, I, I let them go when they work. That's why these ones I, I'm okay with, even though they don't cover as much stuff as the old one does, is because you kind of just use a couple of them and take your pick. And, and you said since this is the same routine, we run every single night advantage? Uh, yes, or although... Uh, plus five? Uh, no, you'll get... Uh, or no, it is... I think it was advantage, right? For doing it every night? Yeah, it's advantage and then... Uh, the plus five was for the good performance, but the good performance doesn't necessarily affect your acrobatic check. Do you know what I mean? It, it can, theoretically, but that's more in the bardic inspiration territory, I feel like. Whereas their performance is going well and helping each other because the performance is going well. So they're riding off of the good performance. Uh, but you're doing an acrobatics check, which is just physical, so... That's a 25. Yeah, you're good. Honestly, with that, you could, like, I don't know, kick a duck out of, you know, a dinosaur's nose. I'm being... Don't worry, I'm being oddly specific. That's a dinosaur from, from episode one. <clears throat> what? Oh, God. Oh, God. Please tell me that's just random and not oddly specific for a reason what you can be both what? anywho 
So she does flips and then she does some high wire stuff and does like she attempts to do like um basically gymnast on the beam but on a high wire. Okay, uh, that one I would definitely say is well. Once again, you can do performance or one because it does fall under either. So, <laughs> it's a seventeen. <sighs> and what was it you were trying to do exactly again? High wire flip. I'm gonna uh, say well. you should be okay, based on the the, and so that's what people are always always kind of like get antsy on. But uh, <laughs> it's usually twenty and above are things that are virtually impossible like or sorry 30 is supposed to be like virtually impossible 20 is supposed to be like a legendary feat stuff like that so 17 okay no there we go so five very easy 10 easy 15 medium 20 hard 25 very hard and 30 nearly impossible so flips I would put in the realm of between medium and hard on the trapeze. Like it's something you train your whole life for and something that requires an incredible, <laughs> you know, but uh, it, it, I would say that it's not something that's impossible. Like it's, you know, it's a, years of training. You can do that. You and me could do that with years of training and dedication. I cannot do that with any years of training. You would think. Man training is a powerful thing. Man training? Both, yeah. We're not doing man training here. That has absolutely nothing to do. I have no planned spectacular end to yeah, um to segue into I wish I could grab the next that's okay. thing. That's okay because I would have know that as being Jem's friend. To know that she doesn't have a have a leading end. Um. <sighs> God damn. Wedge is over here just losing us people. But it's okay. We're packed anyway. It's okay. We're packed anyway. So I, I would, I would sort of towards the end of her act, I would sort of start ramping up what I what I do um I would start I would start like being more flamboyant more seen on on like the ground as opposed to up in the air so that the crowd would start like sort of diverting attention so that her end can her act can end naturally while my introduction of Florence can happen smoothly very nice I like the yeah, no, that's a very specific and good uh, description. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Now roll! So, dun, dun, dun. I can do that. I can roll. Oh, God, which dice do I want? Uh, uh, dice, uh, dice, one. baby. The one's on the left. I'll take I the purple one. Ones. Oh, that's a good one. The purple one. 16 plus performance of seven so uh 23 23 cat i love you i i just wish you'd leave me alone while i'm doing things <laughs> like if i'm watching netflix you're more than welcome to come cuddle and beg for attention but not when i'm playing D, &D okay <laughs> so 23 then 23 that should be pretty good yeah you should be good you know you get a good uh, pass off the performances were good. They're impressive. Uh, let's see you guys Sorry, my dice has to roll roll damn you roll uh, this time you uh, Lost 13 people and gained eight 
but you really lost 13 people for another reason mostly well some of them yeah 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 yeah, yeah at yeah, least yeah, a yeah, couple yeah. of them i should have dragged wedge by the fucking ear <laughs> <laughs> Do it! Do it. Now I'm in the middle of the stage. So <laughs> That's even more better! That's better! Make it seem like it's an act! <laughs> Ask for a volunteer, and that volunteer no will kick him, and the, the volunteer just leaves. Um. <laughs> Pull me to the I... stage by the ear, no balls! Onto the stage? You want onto the stage? But yeah, sure, why not? I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I see, I see that the crowd is being made uncomfortable by this, uh, uh, pair that we have here. So, I'm in the, in like, in like the middle of what I'm saying, I don't miss a beat, and I go into the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I grab Wedge's arm, and I sort of drag him around the outside of the tent, not onto the stage, around the outside <laughs> of the tent. Out of the zone of standing. <laughs> Wait, where are you leading him to? Over to where Jem is standing, but on the along the outside of the tent, so that the crowd can still hear what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> and what I'm saying is. Tonight. This is lovely. Tonight. <laughs> they hear a slight yeah. lion roar as you lead them around. A lion roar? Yeah. Lion's hungry for some pesky, stupid, bad the crowd, audience members. The crowd, the crowd, I imagine, loves that, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the rest Eat of the, the crowd is man. excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> I say, <laughs> <laughs>